Good morning, boys and girls. It's Miss Angela here with day six of our drawing at home. Um, again, I have loved the pictures. I love that you send them to me. And I always try to comment and tell you what a good job you've done. So keep going. Keep, keep doing this every day. I love seeing the pictures. Now today, I told you we're going to combine something. So I want you to find a book that you love. Either read it today or one that you've already read. Because we're going to combine the love of reading and the love of drawing. So we're going to call it take a bite out of a book. Now that doesn't mean literally a bite into a book, but it means take a bite out of it, read a book, and then you're going to do something with that book that you've read. So here's what, here's what we're gonna do. Grab your paper, pencils, crayons, and you know, the, you know the drill. So get it all out and follow me. Today we're gonna draw, draw a tiger reading a book. So I think that's gonna be kind of cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the shape of a tiger's head. Now I'm not gonna make it round like a complete circle. I'm gonna make it a little bigger at the bottom. And then as I go up, it's gonna get a little smaller. So it's kind of a smaller top and a bigger bottom. Let's give that tiger a couple ears. Let's make the little pink part of his ear inside. Kinda looks like a teddy bear right now. All right, now how about we give him a nose right in the middle of his face. And we're gonna give him kind of like a little triangle nose. It, He's still looking a little bit like a bear, so we better turn him into a little tiger. Let's put a stripe right up the middle of his head. Let's do a couple circles for his eyes. We know how to do that. And we're gonna leave a little, put that little tiny pupil in, but we're gonna do it different today. So we've got that little pupil in there. We've got both eyes. Now let's do some eyebrows. I remember told you yesterday, if you make eyebrows in, they're angry. If you make eyebrows up, you're surprised. And if you just do them kind of curved, it's just like a regular old day, regular old eyebrows. Now, to make a little animal's mouth, we're going to make a little line, and then we're going to make kind of a little smile. Now, we're going to give him a couple little teeth because we're taking a bite out of a book. And then let's give him some stripes. This is what's going to really turn him into a tiger. And they're just triangles coming in from the side of his face. All right, so now we've got our tiger head. Now, we're going to make our tiger paws, and we're gonna make it like he's holding on to a book. So we're going to make, just like this, a little tiger paw. And then we're gonna do another one on this side, another little tiger paw. And let's give him some little tiny claws on here, making him look more and more like a tiger all the time. Now, here's gonna be the tricky part. You're gonna draw the book. So the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a line that goes all the way down and another one right beside it. And that's the binding on the book. Like when you shut a book and you see it on the shelf, that's the binding you're gonna see. And we're gonna get a little, little curve on the bottom. Now we've gotta make it look more like a book. So we're gonna go up, so uphill, and we're gonna put the bottom of the book, and then we're gonna put the top of the book right underneath his paw. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. We're gonna go uphill a little bit, and then put it right under his paw. That's called perspective when you look, when it looks like it's going away from you. All right, now we've got a tiger, his paws, and the book. And then down here, you're going to put a big, his feet. And let's give his feet some little pads on it, the little, little toe pads and little heel. And let's do another one right over here. Oh my goodness, that one's a little crazy looking. And the circle, and two little circles, three little circles, I can't count today. And then, hmm, you know what? This tiger is missing his tail. So let's give him a tail. Put some stripes on it so we know where to put the stripe. Now we're gonna use this black marker to make him look a lot more like a tiger. So all these little triangles that we did, we're going to color them in black. Oh my goodness. All right. Now, remember how I said we're gonna do the eyes a little different today? Usually we draw a circle and then we draw the little tiny part inside black. Today we're gonna to do it the opposite way. We're gonna leave the little tiny circle white. So we're gonna, I'm gonna to try to do this a little more carefully so you can see. So, there you go. So have you ever noticed when you take a picture of an animal or something, or even when you look at people, the light shines on their eyes? Well, that's kind of the little light that's shining on his eyes. And let's do this. Let's do his little eyebrows in black. And now I'm going to grab, hmm, I think I'll do pink. Now let's do the inside of his ears pink and the other ear pink. Let's do his nose pink, that would be cute. And then the little paws, of course they've gotta be pink. If you ever looked at the bottom of a dog or cat's feet, 
they're always little pink paws. Sometimes they're black though, I shouldn't say they're always. Always is a big word that isn't always true. Oh, I forgot the black. I'm gonna go back and give him his black stripes on his tail. We wouldn't wanna forget that. And now, the next color I'll use will be orange because most tigers, there are white tigers and there are different color tigers, but this tiger is gonna be orange and we're gonna color all the rest of them in. Now, I don't know what to do with the stripe down his nose. Maybe we'll just leave that white. I don't know. What's, what are you gonna do with the stripe down the middle? So we have a beautiful, beautiful tiger and we're gonna do his paw and his other paw and we'll do his feet and his other foot over here. And now, here's what you're going to do. You are going to take this book and you're going to get your very favorite book that you ever like to read or get a book off your shelf now and read a book. And I want you to draw the cover of that book on here. I don't know what it's going to be about. I don't, I'm just trying to think what my favorite book would be. But you're going to write the title on here, whatever. My favorite book. My favorite. Oh, I'm being a messy book. And then you're gonna draw a picture of that book on the front. I'm just gonna draw a little sunrise because if it's easy, maybe it's a little water. So, grab a book, draw the cover, draw this cute little tiger. Oh my goodness, before we end, I hate to do it, but we gotta add some orange on his tail. And you'll have a really, really cute tiger taking a bite out of a book. Now, Again, I'm going to say it again today. Be safe. Wash your hands. Listen to your parents. They're smart people. And I'll see you tomorrow. Now, tomorrow is pajama day. Now, I'll try to get the video done early so that way you won't be in your pajamas. If you want to change into regular clothes by noon, you won't be still waiting for me to do the pajama day picture. So tomorrow, I will post pajama day. I'll be wearing my pajamas. How about you? We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot for tuning in, everybody. Bye-bye.